Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is on the PTR and we're going to be going through some of the patch notes here. So the first thing is the public dungeons. You can now access public dungeons as a party. That is really cool. And they've tweaked the starting classes. Now, of course, Mage get a complete overhaul, but Warrior and Rogue has also been improved. I'm going to be going through the points that they mentioned on the PTR patch notes. So now for Warrior, they've got the Warcry, which is the passive. Now, Fury is the resource, and every spell grants 25 Fury. Once you get to 100 Fury, the next one's going to have Warcry. The next spell will have Warcry. Warcry increases the damage of the spell that's being cast by 50%. Now the Whirlwind has actually gotten a debuff. It's not as strong as it was before. It's slightly weaker, but Crushing Blow is a bit stronger. The auto attacks using the new combo system. So I had already showed this in a previous video, but the combo system now for the auto attack is every third strike does a spell. Rogue has also gotten a buff. Now the auto attack is similar to the warrior, whereas in the third spell or the third strike will cause an ability. Now this actually stacks poison. This gives two stacks of poison. So when you're using the auto attack, the third strike will definitely hit they won't be able to dodge or evade it. Now the poison strike applies two stacks of poison, but three once you get to rank six. The poison is now boosted up to 20 damage and the duration has been boosted up to five seconds. Scorpion Sting has actually been nerfed a little bit. The power is now 80 instead of 90 and the heavy poison has been buffed slightly, but the duration has been slightly decreased. Now, Mage has had a massive overhaul, and I did show this in a previous video, so I wouldn't go into any extra detail in this one. But you got Ley Lines, which is the passive. Now, this increases the haste by 10%. You've got the Fireball, which casts the Fireball. Now, this stacks up your Fire Aspect, which, of course, increases the damage. Now, every third strike launches a powerful exploding Fireball. The Ice Spear is where you gain mana. So you use this and it's going to be regaining your mana as well as building the Ice Aspect. Now this increases the cast speed. Every third cast will launch a Lance of Ice at your enemy and this actually slows them down as well as deals frost damage over time. Lightning Storm is basically you bombarding them with lightning and this also stuns them when you first launch it. Now Meteor Volley is the ultimate and this causes the meteors to hit the target and its surrounding area so it is an AoE. That gives you a rundown on what they've been working on and this is really impressive. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.